welcome back to Science Shorts. Get ready to learn about a really unique way to study birds and the way they fly. Hi guys, today we are at a really cool location. We are at the research station at Fort Missoula and we're standing inside the UM Bird Flight Lab. And I'm here today with Janiel Dowling, who is the Wings Over Water Program Coordinator for the Montana Natural History Center and she's also a research biologist studying bird behavior. We also have Natalie Wright, who's also a research biologist who works here at the Bird Flight Lab. Natalie, can you tell us a little bit about what the goal of the Bird Flight Lab is? Yeah, here at the University of Montana Flight Lab, we're really interested in studying how and why birds fly. That's so great. And today, Natalie and some of her colleagues at the lab are gonna show us some of the things they're doing to learn more about bird flight. I am here with researchers Natalie and Christine, and they're going to show us a little bit about what they're doing today for their research. One of the ways that we study how birds fly and how baby birds learn to fly like adults is using a structure we call a wind tunnel. So this big machine here blows wind at various speeds, and we put a bird inside this little plexiglass area, and you can see multiple high-speed video cameras above the wind tunnel and right in front of the wind tunnel. And these allow us to capture very detailed video of the bird flying from multiple angles. How do baby birds fly when they first start learning? When they first start learning, they don't have the ability to flap bound at all. So they're just struggling to flap. Yeah, they're basically like flapping their wings as fast as they can, it mm -hmm. seems, and they still kind of fall. So now that we've seen those amazing um, zebra finches flying in the flight tunnel, we're going to check out another way that they study bird flight. I'm here with Brett Tobolsky, who runs the flight lab here. Brett, can you tell us about what we're going to look at with this pigeon? Sure. This pigeon is going to be flying through a cloud of really small particles of olive oil. So we have a vaporizer that ejects this cloud, sort of like what you might see in a theater production or a, in a concert, but this cloud of particles will follow the air and what's going to occur as the bird flies through this cloud is that you'll watch the particles be pushed down very vigorously creating this incredible downwash. Wow, so you're actually able to see the air around the bird wings. Exactly. And this is Buckbeak. Natalie, thank you so much for showing us this place and the lab and some of the research that you guys are doing. But I was wondering, it seems like a lot of the equipment that you use is really high tech and fancy. Is there any way that kids and other people can get involved in learning about bird flight on their own with what they might have at home? Definitely. So if you or your parents have an iPhone, you can use the slow-mo setting on the iPhone to actually get pretty good videos of birds flying. We also regularly for our research use GoPros when we need to go outside in the field under harsh conditions where we might get rained on. Um, you can set your GoPro settings to film at 125 frames per second, which is fast enough to be able to see slow motion of what the bird wings are doing when they fly. That is so neat. So next time you're out in the field, try it out and see what you can learn about bird flight too. 